hey what's going on guys and welcome back to another video in this video i'll be showing you how to do low poly terrain just like so aka triangle terrain it's gonna be looking around the same as this one but you can shape it to any form you want so to make this type of terrain it's very simple there are a couple ways i'm just gonna show you the roblox studio easy way maybe in the next video i'll show you how to make a bigger version of it on how to make like a huge maps of this instead of making them one by one but for this video i'll just be showing you guys how to make simple low poly terrain so let's just get started now what you want to do is open up a uh, roblox studio obviously and then you're going to generate a terrain actually so just go on your editor you're going to generate you can choose the size of your of your terrain you know it doesn't really matter what size it is it it's basically just preference on how big you want your low poly terrain to be so I'm just going to make this a short tutorial so you guys can see how it's done. So let's just make a very small terrain just like that one. Now you can add hills, canyons, everything. I it all depends on what you're trying to make with the low poly terrain. For this one, I'm just going to make it plain without any caves because that's a bit complicated. But you can go ahead and make caves as well. It'll work just fine as long as you follow the necessary steps. So now that we have our terrain generated, um, you're going to edit it a little bit, you know. If you want like a, a hill somewhere, just like grow this out, you know. It doesn't really matter what material it is. It doesn't have to be grass or anything because we're going to be deleting this terrain after. So just, you know, play around with it. Get some get get some uh, hills here and there. It doesn't really matter how detailed it is uh, cuz it's low poly, you know, it'll it'll look good anyways. Uh just mess around a bit. And once you get the general shape of your map that you want to turn into low poly, what you're going to do after is you're going to close this and you have your terrain over here and then you're gonna make a new part you don't have to use building tools by f3x but i do have a video on that uh, if you want to download f3x but you can use the normal roblox uh, things to make this so what you need is a one stud by one stud block it doesn't have to be one stud but this is the best in my opinion for this type of job we're gonna make a neon so we see it properly it's uh, before it gets lost you know and when you select this you're gonna actually select it with the roblox tool that way when you select it it like rotates towards the terrain you see how it rotates towards it it just sticks to it that way so you're just gonna select it with roblox terrain you're gonna put it somewhere it doesn't really matter where and you're gonna name it node or just name it something that you won't forget because it's going to be very helpful. After that, you're going to need the brush tool plugin. I'll link all the plugins that I'm using right now in the description down below. So all the plugins will be in the description down below. And let's reset the settings. You don't have to reset the settings because it's going to be new for you. But I'm just going to remove all of these. And you're going to add node to brushes. So you're going to scroll down, you're going to select this, and you're going to press add. And once it's added it should appear blue here and all you need to do is adjust your brush doesn't matter the radius just make it according to your terrain and the spacing depends on how big the triangles are gonna be so if the spacing is small it's gonna be small triangles and if the spacing is big it's gonna be big triangles like for example all of this is gonna be one single triangle so it all depends on how many triangles you're trying to make and how detailed you want it. For this, I'm going to go fairly big on triangles. Uh, oops. Let's adjust the radius. And make sure it's do not rotate, do not scale, do not wobble. Everything is normal. All right, just copy these settings right here. And now you're just going to color it. And as you can see, it sticks straight to the terrain. That's what you want it. If it doesn't stick to the terrain, you did something wrong and you should rewatch this entire tutorial. So all you need to do now is just paint across the terrain. Make sure you get every nook and cranny. Make sure you get those hills. The top of the hills are very important. And the corners as well. The corners are extremely important as well. Just make sure you get everything. So all you have to do is just paint across it with the brush, the brush tool that I'm going to link down in the description but down below. So once you paint across it, it, 
yours will be more detailed than this obviously but you're gonna deactivate your brush you're gonna close this you don't need that anymore and then we have the shape of the terrain so once we have the shape of the terrain you're gonna go to the editor and you're gonna clear the terrain so we don't want the terrain anymore and what you're left with is, is the shape of the terrain now this is what you need to make this right here so every single three pieces is one triangle now we're gonna start making the triangles so we're gonna go to plugins and we're gonna be using a new plugin called build v4 I'll also link this down in the description you're gonna go to the triangle tool right here and you're gonna click add and now once you click three tri uh, three blocks it's gonna make one triangle now you're gonna do this over and over again until you get your desired terrain make sure you click only once per three blocks all right so I'm just gonna do this real quick and I'll get back to you guys once it's all complete so just be right back guys all right i am back and i finished c connecting every single block make sure everything's connected and one thing i forgot to mention is that never press ctrl z if you make a mistake for example if i make this mistake all right and i create a block that i don't need instead of doing ctrl z what you need to do is go on the remove and you're going to click the triangle that you don't need or you accidentally made so this way it removes only the triangle because if you do click control Z it will remove every single triangle that you've done so all your hard work would be for nothing now once you're done you're gonna see these small um, openings here they're not real openings they're just like not sized properly and that's an extremely easy fix so all you need to do to fix that is click the flip tool and then go to where they are and just click on them that's all you need to do click on every single one until everything is nice and smoothed out so it gives it that nice look clean low poly look that you're looking for so I'm just gonna go over every single one and make sure they're all flipped over right and gotta make sure that there is no crevices in between them all right and that's pretty much it for your triangle terrain once you're done you're gonna click finalize you can either delete the nodes uh, the nodes are the ones the the cubes or you can leave the leave the nodes if you need them for something but I I just delete them normally or you can even group them so it has a couple options I'm just gonna delete them and for the triangles these are the triangles you can either group them leave them yeah you, e you either group them or leave them I'm gonna group them that way it gets it more organized so now that we have finalized the, the thing it you can go ahead and remove the build v4 and here you go you got your uh, triangle terrain model and it forgot to it forgot to group a triangle but that's fine because I'm gonna ungroup it and we're gonna start coloring it so all you need to do is go here color it to whatever color you want it to be make it smooth plastic or whatever color or thing you want it to look like and if you want to make like a small little path then go ahead and do that you know you can like change you, you can fix this up so that way it looks m more like a path than just a zigzag I just made this real quick just to show you guys how to make some triangle low poly terrain so that's all for today's video you guys I know I post every like five months but I try to make a quality video I will be posting another building tutorial soon on how to make a cactus so that's fun uh, but until then I'll see you guys next time